Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to hack Unify accounts. I'm not going to show you how to hack it for you to hack it, but show you how easy it is to hack it so that you can take some precautions so that you don't get hacked. Um, nothing really technical, nothing really you know fancy or full of jargon. It's actually very simple. All we're using is we are exploiting a uh, a flaw in the Telecom Malaysia installation process when they come to install Unify in your home or in your business. They don't really change the default passwords on the router. They leave it there. And that makes you susceptible to any attack from anyone on the internet. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. Um, but first, we need to find out what are the IP address of you and some Unify customers. And so for that, I use Shodan. Uh, Shodan's a really, really special type of search engine. It lets me search for machine types rather than for site content. So what it means is that if I wanted to find sites that were hosting some special applications or that had some special routers, I come to show it and I can find those IP addresses, you know. Um, in this case, I'm looking for the D-Link DIR615 router. Uh, that's the standard router that comes stock with Unify. Maybe not anymore, but it used to be in the past, and a lot of Unify customers have this router. Uh, and what I do is I search for the HTTP header of that router. It's it's a unique one. It's called MatoPD slash 1.5p6. I think it's something to do with Linux or, or Unix, I'm not too sure. Uh, and then I put a filter. It says country Malaysia. So I only search for this router within Malaysia. And then I click search. Um, and what Shodan is going to give me, it will give a list of all the routers that it's found within Malaysia that met the criteria. So you can see all of these dealing routers. It found about 30,000 of them. That's a lot. So I'm just going to click on one, maybe two, and three of them here, right here. So I'll show you how to to hack it. It's not really hack it. It's quite easy. So most of the time, if you come to a router like this, this is the login page of a router of this guy in PJ. Okay, so I'm accessing it from my home via public internet, and I've got to his router login page. Dealing puts a login page to prevent unauthorized access. But what you can do is you can try first admin blank, which is the default password for all the routers there. It works sometimes. Didn't work this time, but don't worry. TM actually have installed another user account on this router called management and I think this is for their support but they don't change the password for everyone so everyone you know on the unified network shares the same password so if you know your password you know everybody else's and with that I've logged on to this guy's router really scary stuff once I'm in here I can do some mischievous things maybe change his SS ID to something embarrassing like I wear pink leotards to sleep <laughs> or I can do something a lot more malicious so I can change his DNS servers I can specify some routings so the next time he types www.maybanktu.com.my, he's actually accessing my web page and I'm stealing his banking credentials. It's really, really scary. Your router is the gateway to the internet. If someone's controlling it or someone managed to hack it, uh, you are actually exposed to a lot of um, malicious activities. I'm just going to log out from this guy's router. We don't want to disturb him some more. So this is another one. Uh, this guy is from Kuala Selangor. So let's try again, admin blank, and see whether that works. It will work most of the time, and in this case, it worked as well. So admin blank, no password at all, and you're in, and you can do all of that stuff that I just mentioned just now. Uh, the last one, again, I'm going to try admin blank here again and see whether this works. And it should work. Yeah, it works. And once again, I'm in this guy's router. You know, it's it's really, really scary, guys. So I've alerted TM to this fact. Um, they have taken note, and they said that they'll fix it at the end of the year. So that's 2013. I told them, on, I alerted them on August 2013. So I'm going to publish this video in 2014, even though I recorded in 2013. If TM haven't fixed it by then, I think you have a right to know that your router isn't as secure as you might think. So... Uh, you should change the passwords. There's a link at the bottom of how you want to do that. Just log on to your web browser, log on to your router, change the password, and you'll be a lot more secure than if you didn't do it. All right, so stay cool, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. All right, so shortly after I published that, I, I discovered something. So let's say you do change your management password, you change your operator password, you change your admin password, and then you you think you're secure. But you're not. So there's an exploit that was published uh, end of 2013 that just basically broke all the security on the router. There's really nothing in the D-Link router anymore that can protect you. So regardless of what you do to the passwords, you can change the password if you like. But it's very easy for someone, an attacker, to figure it out. So this is my router that I brought out of decommission. Um, and how easy it is to find the, the passwords I'll just show you. You just paste a little appendage to the to the IP address and in this case it's slash model slash show info dot php require file var etc http password it's in it's in the um in the comment section below and if you just hit enter here you can see that 
it displays your password in clear text. So even if you change the password or something else, I will be able to see the password and then I can go back in and log into your router. What this means is basically that your stock D-Link DIR615 router for Unify is completely hacked. And there's nothing you can do to secure it except change the, the firmware to DDWRT or buy a new router. And I recommend that you do either one of these as soon as you can because these routers are susceptible and anyone can basically hack in and, and do a bunch of malicious stuff. So thanks for watching, guys, and, and stay safe. Thank you.